In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a grass node into your graph to populate scene with dense vegetation. Let's add some dry grass beside already placed bushes in scene. Let's find the scatter node in graph which is used to place bush in scene. The GPU scatter1 node in the biomes tab is taking an input area for placement. We will use the same area input for our grass placement. To add a grass scatter node, select Add Scatter, drop down in Biomes tab and choose Grass Scatter to instantiate a new node in graph. Now we set the input mask of this node to the same mask used for bushes. Give a material to your grass scatter for rendering. Terra World already comes with a collection of ready grass, flower and plant materials to use in scatter nodes for placement. However, you can use any materials for your grass rendering with any custom shader on it. Let's head over to the built-in grass materials folder in project. Drag and drop a material to the material slot in the node. We are going to leave the rest of the parameters as default for now. Let generate the world with the added grass layer on top of it. Now we can customize the placed grass layer from the inspector. Let's find the grass and plants game object under Terra World in scene hierarchy. You will see that the newly generated grass layer is there, and we can set any parameters from there. Whenever you change a parameter from there the layer will be updated automatically on demand. Let's change the scale of grass blades in order to have better variation for this layer. Changing grass amount and density will customize the look of the layer while affecting the final performance of the game. So play with the settings until you find a balance between details and performance. The grass layers can be rendered whether as quad billboards or custom meshes. Quad is suited for dense placement while Mesh is used for lower density models such as bushes. Let's change the type of this layer to mesh and test it. The mesh I'm using now is a cross-shaped billboard which doubles quad billboards. Now let's change its mesh to a more complex one to see the difference better. Whenever you are satisfied with the changes you made, you can get back to the node settings in the graph. To copy all values from here and have it saved in your graph, for later usage as the changes you make on scene layers does not affect graph nodes. This way the next time you press the generate button, the grass layer will be rendered as your final changes. Now let's generate the world with edited settings on this grass layer. You can go further and edit layer placement to your liking for the final touches. In this case, let's choose the mask brush and paint or erase instances here and there.
As a final good point on visuals for the grass layer which uses a cutout material, changing the alpha cutout value on material will help hiding the popping of grass where its rendering distance finishes. Enjoy using this node in Terra World, and create as many layers as you want to bring details into your scene with highly performant lush vegetation in your nature scenes.